welcome to another episode of Bureau Tries. Today we're going to be trying a few Malaysian childhood games like Chongka and Batas Rumban. <laughs> so let's dive into it. Woo-hoo! A few moments later. So we're done with the game. Um, and this is the moment of truth where we have to count our seats to see who has, some, has more seats and therefore is the winner. So are we ready? Yes! yes. Let's go! Let's go, let's go. So, Alright, so we've calculated our seats and we have a winning team. And it's us, not you. And how many did you guys get? 52. And we got 47. So close. Pretty close. Pretty close. Now let's move on to another childhood game. Let's fight this Yay. How's the music? Always try to pick, yeah. A few moments later. So it's down to the two of us. We made it the furthest. She made it to level six. I made it to level seven, but I didn't get any points. So we are going to battle it out and see who gets to the furthest level. Okay, okay so we have a winner for Batu Surmban. It's Sarah! Do you guys play it growing up, in school? I did such a long time ago and yeah. I lost everything. I played it quite a bit. That's why I still remember how to play it. Same. I think for me as well. I played it a lot in primary school but then I lost it after that. <laughs> yeah. I had to like recall everything. Yeah. Clearly didn't manage to get all that muscle memory But you did back. though. <laughs> so now let's move on to the third game which is... Lompat Geta! Let's go! Woo! Woo! I feel like... <laughs> it is out, suck myself up, it is set. A few moments later. All three Malaysian childhood games, and they are Chungka, Batu Serban, and Lompat Geta. Alright! So, thoughts? What do you guys, how do you guys find the first um, game of Chongka? Uh, I love it. I thought it was very fun, and I love maths, and I love using the power of numbers. I think, okay. it, yeah. I think it's something that's quite simple to play once you get the hang of it, and like you can play it like one on one, you can play in a group, so it's very easy and it's very nostalgic, very Malaysian. Okay, so what about Batas Rubban? I believe that uh, it will get better and it's easier with practice. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it was fun and I really enjoyed it. Like, although I'm from Serbia. 
I don't remember the last time of me taking it, but yeah, it was fun. Nice. Never too late. I think for like the third game, Mopa at the Thaw was, it was actually my first time playing it. It was a good workout. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I would say. Yeah, and I used to play a lot when I was a kid, so I'm surprised that I still have the skills. Yay! <laughs> 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 So we hope you enjoyed going down memory lane with us playing some of the favorite Malaysian childhood games and it was just the right time to do it since Merdeka is around the corner. And with that, all of us at Team Bureau would like to wish you Happy Merdeka!